Hi, I'm Benjamin McMillan, a composer from the northeast of Scotland and one of the co-composers cool on the Ballad of Blue Granite and Green. My name's Paul Anderson and I'm a professional uh, musician, traditional musician and composer from Tarland in Aberdeenshire. I'm, I'm Aberdeenshire born and bred. I know it's a big county and we've got the sea and um, right up to the Cairngorm Mountains, but um, it, it, it all feels like home to me. So being able to, to be part of the soundtrack for that to me was, was something that I began to feel like, yeah, I think I would like to, to maybe at least put something in. And, um, and also, I, I mean, being a traditional musician who plays the fiddle, and the fiddle's a big part of the the, the history of the Northeast music. Um, it, it felt like that was something I thought would be quite a good aspect to reflect in a modern way. Well, I wanted to bring some of my cinematic scoring to the table. Um, obviously at that point I didn't know I was going to be working with Paul, but I think the marriage of his traditional aspects and the cinematic music that I provide as well has brought together to kind of create that sense of grandeur. The way I approached it was very much like I would approach any um, musical commission, um, get a sense of what you're trying to get across with, with the project. And I, I mean, it's actually quite a big thing to try and encompass. How do you encompass Aberdeenshire and Aberdeen I took most of my influence from Paul's melodies. You know, the first one, the Lina D, you know, I tried to, obviously there's the excitement of it being kind of a quick fiddle, but then I wanted to kind of have some sweeping strings underneath it to kind of give that kind of juxtaposition between, you know, the playfulness of the violin, but also kind of keep in mind the vastness of what we're trying to promote. I didn't find it difficult to write the music, I have to say it came quite quick. Um, because the subjects are, uh, that I was tapping into actually are the sort of things that inspire me anyway. Because I, I, I do write a lot of music. I mean, I've written between five and six hundred pieces, including including a symphony actually. And, and by and large, they, they're all inspired by the landscape, the history, and the people. Whether it's people I know or people from history and the past. And so, it, to me, it was just tapping into what I, I do anyway. about the story I was driving up to Peterhead and it's the first time I actually heard it on the radio and I almost crashed um, but no yeah I was uh, driving up and I heard it for the first time and it was you know it was it was a bit crazy because up until that point I hadn't really heard it on any sort of like media streams so um, Paul would send me a video of him um, playing the piece so I would extract the audio from that um, line it up with what I have on my computer and then start composing and I think it was just kind of throwing bits at a time to Paul and he would kind of say whether or not he kind of liked it or thought something could change. Most of the time he was actually really happy and I think having that sort of um, somebody who is as well respected within his area um, telling me that he likes what I've done um, it really helped kind of push me through it as well. Well we kind of worked separately we, we had we definitely had discussions and I, I came, came with music to Ben and he um, he used that for the inspiration for for the arrangements and I mean I would certainly work with Ben on any project because I found very easy to work with and actually what he came up with was what I was hearing in my own head. It's lovely to know that absolutely everybody in this area and all the people that I've kind of grown up in with and I love are based within Aberdeenshire and to know that I'm representing them through my music is a, an absolute um, honour. And to be able to provide and um, it brings pictures into folks' minds that you are able to do that. Um, it gives me a lot of satisfaction. I mean, it's it's something that um, I never get tired of being involved in. But in such a big project, it's 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 an honour to be part of that.